Hello everybody, my name is Alan Yagjin. I'm an ergonomist in the Bay Area, California, and today I'm going to address a inquiry that I, I got from my Facebook channel, which is, can you please uh, talk about the ergonomics of gaming mice? So today I have five contestant uh, gaming mice here uh, with us, and um, the mouse that I normally use day-to-day uh, -day, uh, for just doing computer work. And the reason I'm bringing this guy in is because I'm not exactly uh, a gamer, but I've done a lot of research on the subject and to try and gain analysis as far as the ergonomics go. So uh, the reason I'm bringing this guy in here is because, and this is the Logitech Master MX3 mouse, uh, the reason I'm bringing him in is because I'd like you to just see how my hand fits on a standard mouse and you could see uh, and that I encourage myself to relax my hand on the device and, and use it with a whole arm movement. Now in terms of the gaming grip, that translates to the palm grip. So that's categorized as the one of three different types of gaming grips, which is the palm grip, you have the claw grip, and you have the uh, tip grip or the fingertip grip. So the first one is the palm grip. Your hand relaxes on the device and you're moving it with your whole arm, encouraging mobility in the shoulders, elbows, and the wrist, all sharing the load. Larger muscles move, moving the, the mouse itself. Um, however, you don't have a, a quick uh, uh, perch point that helps you do quick, fast movements because your hand is not on the work surface, which is the desk or the mouse pad. It's actually on the device. And so you're using with larger muscles and you got a lot more things moving. So it's harder to get like quick, precise movements, but at the same time, encouraging better ergonomics. Okay. So, so for the claw grip, uh, you're going to actually be relaxing your hand in front of the mouse and you're going to be using mainly just your wrist to move the mouse. Uh, most mice that encourage claw grips, uh, they have a shallower or not as high um, uh, back end so that your hand actually can just relax on the work surface itself. So as you can see there. Your hand still stays pretty flat here on the top. You don't have too much extension, which would be bad. Last but not least, you have the fingertip grip, which is, uh, to me, the most advanced um, of all three grips, which means that you're gonna be actually just using your fingertips to kind of navigate around the mouse there like this. And the thing that I see as being an issue for this is one, it's kind of a harder learning curve um, because most people want to just relax their their palm on something and Two you have to kind of tighten up the muscles in and around your forearms um, in order to uh, Kind of get the accuracy you need one thing. I do have to say about the uh, The claw style is that if you're going to be doing the claw style You really want to just kind of minimize as much movement as you can with your wrist so I would recommend increasing the tracking speed as, as, or sensitivity up high as much as you can in order to immobilize as much as you can um, since you're going to be having all of that stability by you planting on a surface that's really close to uh, where the movement is generated, which is your fingertips here. So I would say for if you're the claw type, just keep your sensitivity up high as much as you can, which will help you. Um, so let's talk about the mice specifically. I really like the Logitech G502 Hero mouse, and that's because it, it's the I think it's the best mouse for uh, palm grip style because the back end has a high apex further back on the mouse which helps your palm, which is way down here, as a, you know, away from your fingertips where you're clicking the buttons, the, your palm pretty much lands in the, the top or the ball of it, 
right there. So it really, and then also it has the thumb support there. So I like this mouse as far as for being able to plant your hand on it and get it off of the work surface. The other thing I like about it is it's got a plenty of buttons. Um, one thing that I don't like about it is the because it, it has a lateral scroll buttons, um, they put the scroll wheel way up high. So if you don't use the lateral scroll buttons, um, it just, it the distance there, uh, reaching your finger up to, to get to that scroll, top of the scroll wheel is kind of burdensome. Um, so the, the, second, the second one that's just very similar to uh, the Logitech uh, G502 is the Razer RC30 mouse. And as you can see, these mice actually have a very similar shape. And they're both right-handed and they both have about the same length and they both have a, a slant to them, which is great for when, if, you're, uh, if you're using it for a palm style uh, support, keeping the hand off of the work surface. And because it actually angles a little bit to the side, encourages a little bit more of that neutral posture, loosening up the tissues of your forearm. Okay, so these, these two mice, the ones we just went over, are great for palm grips. The next one, I'm gonna, next two I'm gonna talk about are good for claw style grip and even fingertip style grip. So these ones are both Steel Series rivals. Um, this is the 310 because it's got the cord, um, and then the 600, which actually has a cool feature to it because you can, uh, as you can see, it has little weights that can come, you can take out and in. Um, <laughs> Well, yeah, um, so I could do that later. But um, as you can see, you could, you could adjust the weights. It has them on both sides. Each of them is four grams. So you could, you could really fine tune um, the weight of this mouse, which I think is great if you're the style of m mouser that uses uh, the claw grip. Because as you can see, if, if I'm pivoting right here, then this is the moment for us. Well, basically, you're driving this mouse back and forth. The less weight you have here, the less force you're gonna be applying to that wrist, moving it back and forth. So I think, especially if you do wanna try out the fingertip style, it's good to have a really light mouse because you really don't wanna be I mean, thinking about the mouse. And uh, the reason I think that the Steel Series is the best mouse um, for if you put your hand in front of the mouse uh, is, is because it has the flat um, back end um, and the apex is like almost right in the middle and it's not very tall. So I think it, um, that's why it just defines itself as the best mouse, I think, for uh, that planting your palm in front of that device there. So last but not least, I have the Bank uh, Mouse B and Q. Um, and this one is actually the lightest one. The only beef I have with this one is that the mouse is just so light and it just has, you know, a standard cord. Um, a little bit lower in quality seemingly than the Logitech. But um, it's just more of a standard um, cord. Um, it's that it's just so light, you're very aware of the cord, uh, the weight of the cord, and you know it's kind of pull, pull, pushing and pulling it around um, with you. So it's kind, of, it's kind of a battle there. So if Bank had a wireless version, so I would go with that, uh, and I, I hope it would be the same weight because this, the weight of this Bank mouse, uh, really makes it a big winner for. Uh, I think the um, fingertip style, and with the fingertip style, you're gonna really probably tuck your your elbows right underneath, your, right next to your body, and you're probably gonna use it as stability, and you're just probably gonna be doing this with your fingers here, which is what you wanna be doing. You can see like very little uh, wrist movement, or most of it is just all translational, which means like you're doing this across the work surface, so that's, that is going to be, this is this bank mouse is great for that. Um, if you were to try and relax your hand on it, 
most of your hand just relaxes on the work surface. You don't, I mean, it's even far back and I just have medium sized hands. Um, so I would say this mouse is just best for those people that want to just try, you know, just use their fingertips to, to navigate around. Okay. So, uh, there you go, guys. These are the, the five, uh, gaming mice. Uh, and if you guys have any other questions, please just put them in the comments. If you have other topics that you want me to talk about, please also put it in the comments. Um, it's a pleasure and, uh, and uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, have a great day. Bye.